Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to dehaze um, a photo in Photoshop. Basically, you can see here it's very hazy. Um, this isn't the most perfect image for me because the background is not in focus that much, but I'm sure you have many, many great shots that you can practice on. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you how we can dehaze um, this background here and just bring out the, make make this more clearer, the, the stones that are actually here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate my background layer, hitting Control J, just so I can show you the before and the after. So I want to make sure I have my layer selected and I want to go up to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. And I'll show you... I'll show you two ways of doing it. Um, the first way, you can go to Effects, just over here, and the Dehaze. And that will dehaze the whole image itself. Um, sorry, I didn't have it selected there. And you can just slide it along. Um, from previous experience, you don't want to overdo it. It makes the, the photo quite noisy. Um, you can add add in luminance, um, makes it a bit blurry afterwards, just to increase the overall detail of it, if you, if you want to call it that. Okay, so that's that's a one way you can just use a slider. Um, as I say, you don't want to do it too much. Um, I mean, 40 looks about right for this. Because if I do it any further, it's just going to look out of place. Okay, I'm going to take that back to zero and show you how you can just do the background there up here you've got the different menu um, options and you've got an adjustment brush so we're just going to select that and down here you've got your dehaze um, slider i'm going to take it up to 30 and as you can see nothing's happening here at the moment um, i'll show you what we need to do and the clarity i'm just going to bump that up to about five just in case increase the clarity of that right so we've got our right settings at first it's a bit of trial and error um, but you can adjust it so i'll show you that now so i'm just going to select here and i'm going to click and drag it along so i've got all the background just over there okay so that looks quite nice like that um leaving out the dax itself and then once you once you have actually painted the, the adjustments on there you can change it so you can take it up more you can bring it bring it down uh, it's entirely your choice whatever suits you um, as I say it's a lot of trial and error just like that so I'm going to leave it like that at 30 percent uh, plus 30 sorry not 30 percent and now we're just going to work on the stones a bit so I'm just going to hit OK just show you the before and the after there we go, that looks much better already. Uh, it does take a lot more work in it um, to get it as you want it, but this is just um, showing you how to use the dehaze tool. So it looks quite nice like that. Um, and then for, for the stones, I'm just going to go into the, um, the camera raw filter and add some clarity and adjust the vibrance and saturation. So over here, um, I'm actually going to use it as an adjustment brush um, and I want to bring these back down and take the clarity up to about 10 and the saturation, let's take that up to about 10 as well. And the same, same as background with the dehaze, just go and paint over it like that and that brings them out quite nicely. Okay, so that's this tutorial done with. Um, sorry, I went into the clarity when it's a, an actual dehaze tutorial, but I get a bit carried away um, and I just can't seem to stop. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more to come. Thank you.